Natalie Elfric. Damn. It's not that I don't like her. It's that I'm more disappointed in the fact that she's exactly like her husband. Politically speaking, anyway. Now look, she's a conservative. She wrote, she ran on the conservative ballot, so it's not like I had much hope. But certainly when her first vote in Parliament was to strip away workers' rights, kind of figured we'd be in for a rough ride. Even then, though, I didn't expect her to be a sycophant. And over the past few weeks, that's all she's been. In fact, over the past few months, very much pro-Boris, despite his clear, consistent failings. And now, now sucking up to Dominic Cummings. Her tweet, Dominic Cummings has given a clear explanation of a family matter in a difficult circumstance. Let's concentrate on the roadmap to recovery for our country. Now, this isn't as bad as, say, Michael Gove or Jacob Rees-Mogg or the constant embarrassment and letdown that is Matt Hancock. But this is very clearly sycophantic behaviour without actually using common sense. And here's the problem. Dominic Cummings didn't just act as a, as a father would trying to search for someone to look after the kids because they completely bypassed friends and family in London to travel the 260 miles. 260 miles, which by the way, if you travel consistently at 65 miles an hour, takes about four hours. Now, he definitely weren't doing that while going through London, but assuming that he could drive for four hours, how many of you out there have driven with a kid in the car, with a four-year-old in the car? All right, fine. But we can pretend that he didn't have to stop. It's very unlikely, but we can pretend that. And we can also discount the things that we can't prove, just to give the benefit of the doubt to the man. So we don't know if he came back and forth. Uh, as far as I know, there's not hard evidence for that. But what there is evidence for, and what the man has admitted, aside from driving 260 miles to his family, people in the dangerous high-risk category, knowing that they were both infected, that he and his wife had both had the virus, they went to Burham Castle and Dominic Cummings himself has said he did this to test his eyesight. My eyesight needs testing. Does this mean I can go to Dover Castle? Or have I actually got to travel over 200 miles to a castle? and then have it done there. There's a number of issues with this. And uh, in terms of being a parent, in terms of being a father, I give Cummings more credit than Boris Johnson because Boris Johnson is not a father. He uses his children as political toys. And as soon as he's done with them, they're gone forever. Cummings does appear to be a family man. So I, I would give him credit for that. However, he bypassed friends and family who live in London. And then he went to a castle on his wife's birthday. It honestly makes me wonder, not the intelligence of Dominic Cummings, because while he's good at campaigning, he certainly thinks he's smarter than he actually is, which is downfall to a lot of people. I'm probably in that group as well. But what it does make me wonder is how dumb are the politicians that are supporting him with this? Jacob Rees-Mogg is not a smart man. Matt Hancock, clearly not a smart man. Michael Gove, dipshit. Not as much as Matt Hancock, but these people have all shown extreme stupidity. And 
11 hours ago from the time of recording this, Natalie Elfric displayed not only does she have a clear disgust from people from different countries, for people from different countries, as most of her Twitter feed is just xenophobic slander, statements, aggression towards immigrants and pretending that the system that we have isn't actually an incredibly effective system. But also shown that she's actually quite dumb. Because a smart person would look at the situation with Dominic Cummings and see there is no defending this. And with a seasoned lawyer, seasoned solicitor, a seasoned legal mind, as leader of the largest opposition, it's really bloody stupid backing such a monumentally, epically cock-up.